Here we go. That's it. Sorry. Yes, sir. Ride it, baby. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna ride you all day long, baby. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's right. That is right. <laughs> oh, here we go. Huh? <laughs> Don't stop. No, right there, right there, right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> He broke our wedding vows. That's what he did. All I ever wanted was a real husband, a real husband, and family. I wanted a family. Spices. I have to get spices. Thank you, Lord, for this food we are about to receive. Amen. What is this crap? Chicken, mushroom divine. Chicken and mushroom divine. Mm. Mm -hmm. You and your goddamn new recipes. That's not appropriate dinner conversation, Ralston. Fuck appropriate. Fuck you. And fuck this dump. At least. Being next to Ken to that bitch, Aunt Lydia, finally paid off. You shouldn't talk about family like that. Or the dead. You never know when you might join them. It's a cash cow, Melanie. That's what Aunt Lydia's apartment building is. We get there. These suckers keep handing over checks each month. We just spend it. Guess what I saw today? I really don't care. I saw you at that bank clerk's house, Luann. I saw you doing it. It's about fucking time you saw what real sex is supposed to look like. Luann. She knows how to treat her man. <clears throat> good. Real good. You know, Melanie, the only men interested in you were those old farts in that nursing home that needed their diapers changed. You got lucky with me. I feel like shit. That chicken. My guts feel like they're gonna explode. That wasn't chicken, Ralston. That was crab. Crab? You know I can't eat shellfish. I know, you're allergic. That's right, I'm a... You crazy psycho bitch. <laughs>
If I'm going, so are you. You call me an ambulance, or I'm gonna get rid of that butt-ugly face of yours. I took the bullets out. You can check it. Remember Luann. Remember Luann Ralston, because that's the last horror you're gonna see before you go to hell. <laughs> You in hell, too. I thought you were the man I waited for my whole life. Yes, I was wrong. <sighs> but I know he's out there somewhere, waiting for me. And together, we'll have a family. for some handyman work, Justine Wells cut me a deal. So, if you got anything broke, Pepper will fix it. <laughs> oh, here, let me help you with that. Okay. Now, place has some bad plumbing, a little earthquake damage, but it's got character. It's got lots and lots of character. Gotta call Rocky. Still doing that geeky accounting? Listen, man, I'm not kidding. Hey. Sorry, Tyson has to go bye-bye. You're gonna pay for that. <laughs> don't pay, Buster. You're gonna start if you don't watch it. I better warn you that once a month we gotta call the cops to break those two up <laughs> and they're animals. Mm. I take you up to Lydia's apartment now. Oh, most of her stuff is in the basement if you need to go through it. Here, I'll take that for you. Ah, Lawrence, I'd like you to meet Melanie. I'm the new landlady. I'm so awfully pleased to meet you. <sighs> you really are very beautiful. Uh, Thank you. Hope we can get better acquainted sometime. Ah, uh, Mrs. Arnett. Justine needs to talk to you about last month's rent. Yeah, I'll write her a new one, OK? Well, better get on her today. She's not a happy camper. That was Mrs. Arnett. She always pays the rent with bad checks. Oh! Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you OK? You all right? Oh. You all right? I'm really sorry. Ooh, the pretty drawings. You have children, that's, that's... No. Well, yes, what if I work with other people's kids? Foster children. Uh, social services, actually. Families in trouble, kids in trouble, you name it. As long as they're in trouble. Uh, family, yeah. 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 I'm Melanie, I'm Melanie Leroy. I, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm Melanie Dade. I, I inherited this place. Right, right. Patrick Foreman. Welcome to L.A., Melanie Dade. I'm in apartment 303. I'm also very incredibly, extremely late. Pepper, shower's still leaking. Well, it wasn't yesterday. It is today. It's very nice to meet you. Okay. What a nice young man. That he is. I wish I could say the same for that girl you can see. <laughs> Uh, you're right here next to Justine's. That's Miss Welsh. She's been manager here for about five years, ever since Lydia had her first stroke. 
Okay, here you go. And Justine says she's going to drop by a little later to fill you in on things. And me, I got to check the uh, basement's wiring, and then I got to fix that goddamn drippy shower in Mr. Foreman's apartment. Mr. Pepper. Yes, ma'am. If you ever take the Lord's name in vain again, I'll fire you. Mrs. Leroy, Justine Welsh. I would have met you properly, but had a ton of paperwork. That's what I'm here for, to make things work. Would you please call me Miss Dade? I'm using my maiden name again. Really now? Right, Miss Dade. Get unpacked, get yourself settled, and if you need anything, just holler. I'm in 203. Miss Welch? Can I please have the keys and all the information about the tenants? I think it's important that I know them. Keys and files. No problem. I'll lend them to you. Lend them? I'll have to have them back, of course. Ever since Lydia had her colon removed, I've got this place running like a tight ship. I'm starting over. I'm gonna have a brand new life. Ralston? Ralston? I'm glad you're dead, because I don't think you'd get along with Mr. Foreman. He's a real gentleman. He likes families and children. Not a thing like you. Not a thing like you. Pepper? Pepper? Hello? <whistles> Lydia, you are a pack rat. Pepper? Pepper, when you have an extra minute, could you fix the fuse in my, my apartment kitchen? Yes, Miss Dade. Oh, and the, uh, there's a trunk in the basement with Lydia's other things. Could you bring it to my, my apartment? Sure will. Oh. I better get this to soaking right away. You'd be happy I found this. Huh. Quit taking pills. I even applied for a sales job at the new mall. You quit taking pills. Let me see your purse. My purse? No, yeah, Why? let me see. Let me see it. Just let me see it. What's this? What is this, Liz? You you just lie to my face. I'm tired of it, okay? I can't do this anymore. You've got to give me a chance, I've given Patrick. You so many chances. I'll We've been quit. over this so I many promise. times. Oh, sorry. I think you better go. I'm house sitting at Misty's. 
calming. I found this today by the front door. Patrick, your baseball team's last game's next week, huh? Yeah. You still want me to help with the party? Let me think about it, Liz, all right? All right. Talk to you soon. I thought this was important. I'm sorry I read it. I feel terrible about that Jenny Hagen lady losing her little boy to foster care. Tough, huh? Yeah, yeah, you know, these, um, <clears throat> these foster family situations are sometimes really hard no, on no, the kids. No, 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 not about you and her. It's tough. Maybe you need something different? <laughs> what do you mean, different what? How do you mean? Honesty, stability, a future with someone. You know, I, I thought I had that with Liz at first. So, you all settled in? I'm all settled in. Well, you look nice. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you know, me. Good night. Getting quite intimate with Mr. Foreman, I see. Miss Welch, what are you doing here? You said you wanted the files, Mrs. Leroy. Thank you. Why does your door open up into my bedroom? After Lydia's second heart attack, I had it installed. It made things a whole lot easier to take care of her. That's what I do well, Mrs. Leroy. I'm good at caring for others. Well, that's very noble of you, Miss Welch, but I am not Lydia, and in the future, I would appreciate it if you would knock on the door. The front door? I know this building. You don't. I own this building, and I know more than you think I do. And from now on, I forbid you to smoke in my apartment. can't allow her to push me around. Well, you know, I just can't allow it. Maybe as Melanie Leroy, I, I, I did let myself get pushed around too much, but not, not as Melanie Dade. I won't allow it. So, how you like it here so far? Well, it's my first time in an apartment. They're so small. I'm used to yeah, living I'm, in... I'm living in a shoebox up there. I keep telling Justine I want a bigger place, but I don't really think she's listening, you know? Well, I am, and as soon as one becomes available, I'll let you really? know. Well, I appreciate that. Have a nice day. Yes, thank you. I am now. Capitalists. 
local man dies under strange circumstances. No wonder you didn't want me to see these files. Jeanette Leroy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling from Los Angeles about your brother's death. Uh huh. You might not remember me, but. I sure do remember you, Justine. You know his wife? She killed him. She poisoned him. You, th you think that's what she did to him? You haven't paid a plug nickel in five years. Well, that's gonna stop as of today. Miss Welch, it's Melanie Day. Uh, Jeanette, yeah. I've got to go all of a sudden. Nice talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you. Real, real nice. Bye. Bye. I need to talk to you right now, Miss Welch. Please open up. I'm coming, Mrs. Leroy. Are you, my dear? Come in. Not very happy, not one bit. Isn't it a bitch getting a bad haircut? I know, I hate it. I was just making some tea. Care to join me? You could cease with the put-downs, Miss Welch. I was reviewing the files. It appears you haven't been paying rent for years. Building managers don't pay rent. Well, as of today, I'm the building manager and that means you have to start paying rent. Quick question, my dear. What's that? How exactly did your husband die in Sunshine, Nevada? Rumor has it that you fed Mr. Leroy some shellfish, but the police couldn't pin it on you. That's not true. Whoever told you, they're lying. But I wonder what Mr. Foreman would think. Have you told him? You can't tell Patrick. There's no reason to. I can't tell him what? Mrs. Leroy, about your husband's death? or about his baseball jersey in your bedroom. But let's not get sidetracked. We need to deal with the issue at hand. I am not paying rent, and that's that. You mean I do all the work and you do nothing? Let's just say you agreed to give me an early retirement package. Forget about it, Miss Welch. What, a cup of tea? You're not gonna blackmail me. I'm not blackmailing anyone. I'm just going to call Mr. Foreman. I can't let you. I'll tell Patrick, I'll tell the tenants, and you'll find yourself alone in an empty building. Dare. I'll dare as much as I want to, unless, of course, I don't have to pay any rent. You get out of here right now, you hear? I'll call the police. <laughs> other people's business, Miss Welch. It isn't right. It isn't neighborly. A little juicy. Your hot pepper. Got a little brewski for us. Justine, I'm all frisky. <laughs> Taking a little bubble bath. <laughs> Don't tell me you're already in bed, woman! Go ahead. Sleep your miserable life away. Oh. This apartment is 
way too big for you anyway. I'm Melanie Dade. I'm the new landlady. Oh, that's right. The other one croaked. What the hell's that? Laundry. <sighs> that's a shitload of laundry. Actually, I'm glad we bumped into each other. You're 204 Venice Dorian. I read your file. Ah, oh, guilty as charged. But I wasn't named after the beach. There's this place in Italy with the same name. Here's the deal. Melanie, the landlady. When I rented my place, Lydia promised me a new couch, a coffee table, and some lamps. Huh? Well, I'll check on it first thing. I really have to do my laundry, so... Cool. Tomorrow, things will start being the way they should be. So the mirror will fit. Great. Oh, do, do you remember this morning you were telling me about that uh, smoke detector video gadget? Yeah, well, if it does everything you told me, can I have one of those too? Miss Dane, it's Pepper. Uh, I really need to see you. What is it, Pepper? I was wondering if you've seen Miss Welsh today. She's gone. She left for Florida. Uh, Fran became desperately ill. She left this morning. She never told me you've got no friends in Florida. It's true. She, uh, she requested that I put some of her things in storage, throw some things out, and give the rest to charity. Charity? Well, you know what a caring soul she is, so they'll be here early in the morning. She didn't say goodbye or nothing? We got it all done. Thank you. Anytime, ma'am. Woo! Whoops. Hey, 
Wait a minute. Thanks. Thank you. I can hardly wait for him to come home. He's gonna flip. Now, where do I put you? Mr. Foreman, it's Melanie. Good evening, Mr. Foreman. Guess who's getting a new, larger apartment? Oh, you're kidding. Wow, that was quick. Which one? 203. 203, at, that's Justine's. Who happens to have left for Florida early yesterday morning. That's a great apartment. Oh, you should see it now. It's all spruced up. How about this weekend? Thanks. That's, that, that's really nice of you. Nice is my middle name. Good night. Night. All right, Melanie, I'm feeling guilty. I'm moving the rest of the stuff on my own. Ah, oh, happy tenant means a happy building, which means a happy landlady. That's me. <laughs> You've done enough. Smells like a man. This place is amazing. You know, I really owe you. Oh, I was just doing my job. Yeah, well, it was Justine's job, too, and she didn't care at all. But you. Oh, well. You're the best. Three, like the booklet says. <sighs> Amazing what one does for love. So cute. One day soon, there'll be nothing between us. I promise. I can see the sweet face of our little boy, always bothering his mommy because he wants to lick the bottom of the bowl. And then there's little sister. She's cute as a button. She combs and combs her dolly's hair like a beauty school expert. Foreman family. People will come from miles around just to be like us. Patrick, it's Liz. I'm calling to let you know I got an interview for that job at the mall. Oh, hey, I'm still helping you with your team's party, yeah? Call me. Love you. Still helping you with your team's party. Bitch will end up spiking the punch. Wait, no.
know. No, she's not gonna get her hooks into him again. Uh huh. Message erased. Wow. You even went to college. So many things I don't know about you. So many things. Look, I wrote those checks so we could eat, okay? So our electricity didn't get turned off. No, I know. I did it because I'm a mom, not no, a I criminal. Know. It's just, you know, writing bum checks is against oh. the law. It is a crime. But listen, yeah. Jenny, Patrick. you paid your dues, you got the job. You haven't missed one appointment with your parole officer. You're doing all the right things. All the right thing means jack to them cold-blooded foster care people. You got a light? Uh, no. No. All right, look. You're gonna get Cody back, okay? I promise. Well, I hope you're right, Patrick. I hope to God you're right. Cute as the dickens. bought those for. Better not be for her. Melanie, you home? Oh, uh, right with you. Right with you, Patrick. Just one sec. A little something for you to say thank you again. Oh, a little something. These are breathtaking. Patrick. Hey, Pepper just told me you moved. So it looks like this is your new home base, huh? Yeah, yes. Yeah, it... Liz, what are you doing here? Hoping you might congratulate me. I got the job. Liz, I don't think you've actually met Melanie. Melanie's the new landlady here. This is Liz. Yeah, we kind of met, huh? Kind of, yeah. I'll leave you be. It's a breathtaking. Thanks. Flowers for the new landlady. You're such a charm. I just wish you'd call me first or something. Well, I did call this afternoon. I left a message about the interview, helping you with the party. It's funny, it wasn't on my machine. You're not welcome here. I've been doing real good, Patrick. I've been hiking every day. Start my job next week. Look, haven't done anything in over four days. It's just it's been hard, though.
fire alarm. I don't smell anything. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just be sure. Hey, what's going on? Oh, alarm, everybody. Some boys from down the block must have set it off as a joke. It's, it's very funny. Sorry for the inconvenience. I gotta get to my Spanish class. I understand. So, Coach Foreman, do you still need help getting that party together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. What time and where do you need me? All right, well, how about you pick up some groceries and meet me back here around two? Give you three hours to get it all together, yeah? Call me in the morning? Bright and early. Patrick, I'm not going to let her hurt you again. Landlady. What's this about? Well, it's about it's about you and Patrick. It's important. Can I come in? Thank you. Oh, this this is very nice. It's very lovely. What about Patrick? I just had a long talk with him, and he doesn't want you back. What? I think you have this wrong. I think I can explain them. Um, let me see. Why do we play a little game? You like games, don't you? You play enough of them with Patrick. May I sit down? I can't allow you to get back into the picture and ruin all our plans. Your plans? Yes, but I need your help. You know, I need to know about the little things between a man and a woman. You know? You've got to be kidding. Go ahead. Answer the first question. What is Patrick's favorite main course? I think it's important to know as much about a person before you get married. Who, you? Yes. A wife needs to know her man's likes and dislikes. Wife? No way, lady. No way, lady. You're going to live if you don't answer the first question. Now, write legibly. And if you do a good job, I may let you go. Go ahead. favorite meal is shrimp. His favorite music is Zydeco. I, there's no such thing. I swear it's native of Louisiana. Okay, just shh. Just keep writing. Number six, I'm not sure about this. What, what's his favorite desert? Dessert, I'm not interested in his favorite desert. Dessert has two S's. What is it? Sahara. His dessert. What is it? Uh, beignets. You're making this up. They're like little donuts with powdered sugar. I'm 
done. Good. Me and him, we weren't working out. I wanted to break up with him, but I didn't want to hurt his feelings. He's a great guy. He's more than great. I hope it clicks for you and him. Yeah, but there's just one problem. What's that? We both know you're lying and you're gonna barge right back into Patrick's life. No. You know, it confuses him. It's not good for him when you're around, so I'm gonna give you a choice. You either, you take these pills, there's sleeping pills, they're your favorite kind. They're my husband's too, or I'm gonna shoot you and make it look like a burglary. Please, you said you were gonna let me go. I am, I'm gonna let your sad life go. We can work this out. I won't have to see him. I won't even call him. We both know you're lying. I swear I don't want to. Shh, start eating the pills. Do you want vodka or bourbon? I think you're a vodka girl. Vodka girl. Do it. I can't. Yes, you can. <gasps> this is insane. I'm gonna shoot you in the stomach. I hear that's so painful. You bleed for the longest time and then okay, you- Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't you dare spit those out. That's it. Come on, everything off your plate, Miss Reese. <sighs> oh, for God's sake. That's not enough. Didn't your mother teach you any better? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on, on Miss Reese. Late, come on. The glass is empty. Why are you doing this to me? This way. There's no pain. Everyone will understand. They know you lost your boyfriend. And you decided, why go on? Falling asleep, a nice, warm sleep. <laughs> Take your pills. <laughs> Fishing. Favorite perfume, lavender oil. I have to get that. New Orleans, favorite vacation spot. I feel radiant. And that's because I'm happy. I'm happy because of you, Patrick. You never made me happy, Leroy. And you were supposed to, but you never did. Never. Dave, you in? Come 
going. I'm coming. What is it, Pepper? Uh, I came to get Miss Welsh's address in Florida. Just want to make sure she's all right. I don't have it. I have to look for it, and I'm in a hurry. Well, surely you must remember a friend's name. Um, Mary. Mary Smith. Mary Smith in what city? Miami. I believe it was Miami. Look, I'm having a hectic day. I really have to go now. Goodbye. That woman is one strange bird. Hello. Hey, landlady. Would you, would you give me a hand with the... Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, Liz, it's Patrick again. It's two o'clock. Where are you? I can't believe you're going to flake on me. You know, you were the one who told me that you wanted to help. Now I'm depending on you. The kids are depending on you. And you've disappeared. This is really getting old. Nothing, it's just, you know, it's my little league team's last game tonight, and we're supposed to throw a party for them afterwards, and Liz is a no-show. Oh, I hate to see little kids disappointed. Maybe, I, let me help you. No, 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 thanks, I'll wing it. No, no, I, I could do a selection of sandwiches, bologna and cheese and peanut butter, jelly, carrot sticks, <laughs> celery sticks, and for dessert, cookies and cookies. You know, it's for 20 kids, I gotta be ready at five o'clock. Oh, but I have everything here, Mr. Foreman, and by five o'clock, you will be ready, set, go. Really? All right, listen, that would be great. I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna get some chips and some drinks, and I will see you at five, okay? Thank you so much. You deserve a gold medal. A gold medal, huh? Patrick, I deserve a gold ring, and I'll get it, too. One day soon, he'll discover how clever his Melanie truly is. Oh, she, she gave me back the wrong thing. Vanis, there was a mix-up with our clothes. Vanis, are you home? Real one. Oh, you're really getting spacey. Totally forgot to lock the door. Glad you didn't forget about me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take it into the bedroom now. My wife is out of town. Boy, you are frisky today. 
Wait, remember what I told you last time. Hmm. We've got a whole hour. Whole oh, hour. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> right. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Come here, baby. Come here. all here, Ralphie. You're the best. <laughs> you say the nicest things, baby. Oh, look out. Yes, Patrick. I'm in. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I got a little worried when you didn't show up. Well, I had the cookies. I had everything. And I went to the market. My car broke down, and nobody would help me. Oh, you know, some of the other parents pitched in, and everything was fine. It was just fine. But I want to make it up to you. You don't have to make anything up to me. Well, I want to. Would you please say yes? Yes. Thursday night, how about an honest to God home cooked dinner? I'll be there. Thursday night, seven o'clock. Seven it is. I'm so sorry. No, no, really. Good night. Hey, Patrick. What are you doing Saturday night? Saturday night? I have no idea. Some friends and I are going to an ACDC concert. ACDC, yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe. Could be fun. Cool. Catch you later. All right. Slot, you can be the pleasure pit for any man you want to, but not my Patrick. No. Nope. You're out of here. This war, you frigid bitch. Coming.
You don't know the first thing about tenants' rights, do you, landlady? I have to ask you to leave, Miss Doyle. You see, I've already called a lawyer friend of mine, and you have no grounds to get rid of me. And did you tell your lawyer friend that you're running a brothel in my building? If I call the police, you are out. What's that in there? Is that Patrick? You can see in his apartment. Why would you? Oh, my God. You have a sex drive. Does Patrick know about this? I want you to leave. Oh, God, that is really kinky shit, landlady. Really, really kinky. I want you to leave. No. Now, the deal is, you don't give me any trouble, and I won't give you any trouble. And I want my couch by tomorrow. Capiche? Destroying every marriage. Tyson, this is Melanie, Venice's landlady. She's with some guys going crazy. All right, listen, don't mm -hmm. call the cops. No, I won't call the police, but you have to come right away. All right, let me handle it, okay? Right away. All right, just don't do anything. I'm coming down right now. Yeah. I need to see where you want the couch. May I come in? All right. Great, because I'm so sick of this furniture. I want you to put it in the corner over there. <laughs> Us good girls can only be pushed so far. Something really horrible has happened in my apartment building. I need the police here. Okay, ma'am, I'll connect you with the right away. Stay on the line. Thank you. Watch it. Ready? Good. Ryan, here. That punk beat her with a candlestick, and she shoots him in self-defense. Just try to forget this ever happened, because believe me, there wasn't a thing you could have done. Thank you. Detective. I already gave my statement, but I need to talk to you about something else or someone else. Are you all right? Yeah. Melanie, it's Patrick. Patrick. Are you all right? You okay? What a terrible thing to go through. I'm so sorry. Just hold me. Listen, can I get you anything? Oh, a cup of tea. Okay, all right, I'll put some water on. I'm looking for this woman. I, I don't know what to do now. I know, I know. You have to file a missing persons report, then there'll be an investigation. Well, how long will that take? It'll take what it takes. You know what? I actually really have to get going. I gotta. 
test tomorrow in my Spanish class. Are you, you going to oh, be no, okay? I'm, I'm sure, oh, I'm okay when you're around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Regular knight in rusty armor. Okay, try to get some sleep, all right? Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. don't forget about tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yes, okay. and bring a big appetite. Soon, my love. Soon. This was Justine. Patrick, that court hearing is just going to be me against them. Jenny, against us. Come on now, you up for this or what? I hope so. I even bought this butt ugly outfit to wear. <laughs> this butt ugly and boring, perfect for court. <laughs> All right, now your hearing's at 12. I'll meet you there at 11.30. We'll go over what you're going to say in court, right? OK, I'll be there, and I'll watch my mouth. That's an excellent idea. Tomorrow at this time, you're going to have your son back. There was something for the hostess? I, uh, let it breathe. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, that's so thoughtful. I have a little something for you, too. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? It's occasion good luck charm. Oh, we're having a theme dinner. Where's that perfume you've got? It smells familiar. Oh, that's, a uh, lavender oil. It's my favorite. It's Liz's favorite, too. I hope you're hungry because I've prepared a Mardi Gras, all you can eat uh, feast. <laughs> Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras in the spring. Well, I'm in my spring mood. And on the menu tonight, I've prepared gumbo, fish cakes, hush puppies, shrimp, and uh, rice and beans, and for dessert, beignets. These are all my favorite foods, you know, so you're either psychic or from New Orleans. No, I've never been there. Have you? Yeah, I've been many times. I actually met Liz there. Best weekend of my life. Patrick, a toast? Melanie Dade. Although we've only just met. I already feel like you're my friend. Oh. Um, it's my turn. I'd like to make a toast. To Patrick Foreman, I know I just met you, but from the first moment we met, I knew that something incredibly wonderful would be in store for the two of us. woman. You uh, seem to genuinely care about people. I'm very lucky to have you as a friend. Oh, oh, Patrick, you know we're more than just that. You know we're more than just friends. Now what do you mean? What we have goes much deeper than ordinary friendship. Melanie, I'm, I'm not sure where you're going with this. We're soulmates, Patrick. We both have caring hearts and nurturing spirits. We're perfect for each other. Perfect for each other. Melanie, you have the wrong idea. I don't have any romantic feelings for you. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Why are you saying such things to me? I've seen the way you look at me. I'm a woman. I know the look. If I've led you on in any way, I apologize. It's because Liz is prettier than I am, Will. She's a dope addict. Melanie, you're a very attractive woman, but Liz and I have a real chance. When hell freezes over, you do. 
Why would you say that? Because a loser goes with a loser. She's a loser. You're not a loser. You know something? You don't even know Liz. This dinner was a bad idea. I'm going home. No, Patrick. Please, Patrick. We were meant to be we're together. We're friends, Melanie. Friends is all we'll ever be. I'm sorry. No, Patrick. <gasps> no, Patrick. Once you understand, I know you'll change your mind. My dear Miss Dale, or oh, can I call you Melania? Uh, I've got this lovely leg of lamb with mint jelly and a little sherry trifle for a pudding, and I thought that perhaps you'd like to come on to my place for a late night snack. <laughs> I'm already spoken for, Mr. Gerard. Good evening. I also have this wonderful decanter of Madeira wine, which is really good. After dinner, I said I. Really good like evening. It. I suppose that means no. Are you thirsty? I bet you are. Now don't make a sound or this goes right back on. Why are you doing this, Melanie? Answer me. Drink, 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 beloved, drink. We're meant to be one. Husband and wife. To raise children, to raise them with love and values. And nothing can stop what God has ordained. Nothing and no one. Liz. Melanie, I have Liz. No, you don't. What are you talking about? I had to put her out of her pain. What have you done? What have you done to her, Melody? I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. Shh. I'm going to kill you! The water was laced with sedatives. Relax. Float away. be here. I'll always be here. I'll be right back. Think beautiful thoughts. Dead husband Ralston would be witness. So, so we begin. I, Melanie Dade, being of sound mind and body, take thee, Patrick Foreman, to be my spiritually wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. I do. Oh, you just nod your head if you do. Well, I know you do in your heart. wanted a wedding night. Always. Please be, please be kind.
I love you. Good morning. I have something special for you. And then I'll let you use the bedpan. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ralston. You are no longer welcome in the family bedroom. Where the hell is that damn remote? Miss Melanie Leroy was questioned at length concerning the suspicious circumstances of her husband's death. I am calling that detective about this. I know that woman ain't no good. My freezer's out. <clears throat> Patrick? Patrick, I hope you're on your way. Look, if you're not here in 15, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Patrick, look, I can't deal with these guys by myself. Please hurry up. take to fix this goddamn thing. Ma'am, I don't know yet. I haven't even looked at it. And in the future, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't use the Lord's name in vain around me. Thank you. Date. Uh, I have some house guests they got in late last night, so I'm trying not to wake them. Mm. 
I know those murders were quite an ordeal for you, but there seems to be some questions about something else. The disappearance of one Miss Justine Welsh. Disappearance? That's odd. I chatted with her last night. I, I'll get you the number. I... Mm. I know who put you on to this. It was my handyman. That man was obsessed with Miss Welch, which is why she had to move. Pepper McAllen was practically stalking the poor thing. You got that number handy? Back in a jiff. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Mr. Foreman, mm. that woman is the devil herself. I'm sorry. I'm hurrying, sir. I'm hurrying. Just hang on for a second, sir. This might hurt a little bit. I'm just gonna yank you real fast, and that way it won't. him to snoop mm. be right back beloved oh. my house guests have made such a mess I can't seem to find Miss Welch's number so if you give me your card I'll call you later this afternoon I appreciate it man a little chat with the woman and all these rumors could be put to sleep oh. as well they should bye How about helping me down with this to the basement? Did you say no to my invitation for supper? How about having a spot of tea with me later on today? You win. A spot of tea. Delightful. Uh. Do, you, do you talk to most women the way you talk to me? Only American women. Oh. You don't talk that way in London. Oh. London, please. I'm from Hong Kong. Look, I have this really terrible problem. I have to get myself a green card, which means I have to marry an American woman. Uh, you would marry someone just for a green card? Well, I love the weather out here. What can I say?
help you? Oh, hey, I'm looking for Patrick Foreman. I'm the landlady. He's not home. Who are you, and how'd you get in here? Well, I'm Jitty Hagen, and how do you know he's not home? Because I saw him drive away this morning. Then why is his car outside? I don't know. Look, he was supposed to meet me at 11.30 this morning, and he didn't show. Now, that's not like Patrick. The Patrick, I know, would never miss an appointment. You know, something ain't right here. I mean, what if he's sick? Look, you have the keys. Can we please make sure? Oh, all right, if you insist. I'm sure he's stepped out. Been very sad for him. His girlfriend just committed suicide. I think he got depressed and wanted to leave town. Where's his bedroom? It's right over here. What's this doing here? This don't make sense. Why would he leave his wallet, huh? I wish I had answers, but honestly, I don't know what happened to him. Would you like to leave a note? I'll give it to him when he returns. No offense, but I want to call the police. Well, sure. Came by. You're a whore. All whores lie. You lie. Jenny, you okay? Yeah. How about you? I think I'm all right. Who the fuck was that? That's someone who had no chance. Somebody out of a fucking mind. I just came by to tell you I got Cody back. Let's get you home, man. 